Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 12, heat conduction and thermal expansion. Today we will continue with thermal expansion of a liquid. Okay, so when the liquid in a vessel is heated, both liquid and also vessel expand in volume. However, the liquid in the solid container expand more than the solid, okay, resulting in the rise in the level of the liquid. Okay, so meaning that our equations here, our V liquid is equal to V not meaning the original volume times 1 plus gamma of the liquid times the change of the temperature okay and V solid is equal to original volume times 1 plus gamma of the solid container times the change of the temperature okay and usually gamma of the liquid is greater than gamma of the solid container okay meaning that it will expand faster so that's why the liquid it will spill up okay so how to find the rise in the volume or the amount of the split up okay or we can say overflow so how we can do is we must find the change of the volume is equal to volume of the liquid minus volume of solid container so now we go to exercise 3. A 50 cm cube a breast container is full of the mixtilin at a temperature of 30 degree when the temperature of the container rises into 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, so meaning that uh, the container and also the glycerin is the liquid, it will expand it. Okay, and if you refer here, alpha of the breast container is 1.9. Okay, whereas alpha for the glycerin or the liquid is 49 meaning that the glycerin will expand faster than the container okay so later the glycerin it will spills up so we want to find how much of the glycerin is spills up okay so what should we do is first one we must find the volume of the liquid or uh, here liquid is equals to the glycerin uh, okay so the liquid here actually is the glycerin where it's equal to v naught one plus gamma times change of the temperature okay so we substitute okay initial is 50 because uh, the glycerin is um, container is full of the glycerin okay so the volume initial is 50 cm cube 1 plus gamma of the glycerin is 49 times 10 to the power of 5 and the change of the temperature is from 30 to 40 degrees so final minus initial we take 40 minus 30 degrees celsius so the final volume for the glycerin is 50.245 cm cube. Okay. Okay, next we want to find the volume, the final volume for the breast container where the equation is equal to V0 1 plus gamma times change of the temperature. Okay, so the original volume of the breast container is still the same, 50 cm cube times 1 plus gamma okay right here they give you the breast container is alpha okay so we know that our gamma is equal to 3 alpha so we must times 3 1.9 times 10 to the power of 5 and then the final temperature is 40 minus 30 degrees celsius okay so the final volume for the breast container we will get 50.0285 cm cube okay so for this part you don't need to roll off okay because the difference or the expansion only uh we want to find the difference uh. okay so how much the glycerin will spill out we must use v of the volume for the glycerin okay because glycerin will expand faster minus volume for the breast container so it's 50.245 minus 50.0285 Okay, so finally the answer is equals to 0 0.2165 cm cube. Okay, so this is the volume that will spill up. Okay, so next explain why there is an overflow by the glycerin. Okay, as I mentioned just now, okay, because our coefficients of the volume expansion, gamma of the glycerin. Okay, is greater than the gamma for the breast container meaning that it will expand faster 
Okay, so therefore our glycerin will expand faster. Okay, then our rice container. Okay, so therefore it will cause the glycerin to spill up. Okay, next we go to questions number two. Okay, a glass flask whose the volume is 1000 cm cube at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius is completely filled with the mercury okay, at the temperature. So the flask and the mercury are warm to become 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, 55, 15.5 cm, cm cube of the mercury is overflow. Okay, if the coefficients of the volume expansion of the mercury is 18 times 10 to the power negative 5, determine the coefficients of the volume expansion of the glass. Okay, so we know that the mercury, yeah, the overflow is equal to 15.5 cm cube. Okay, and the equations here also equals to our volume for the mercury times the volume of the glass flask, huh? meaning that the container. Okay, so this is the container. Okay, so now we want to find uh, what is the coefficients? Huh? Coefficients. So first, we must find first what is the volume of the mercury. Okay, the final volume of the mercury is equal to initial volume one plus gamma times change of the temperature. Where initial we have one thousand cm cube. 1 plus gamma of the mercury is equal to this one, uh, 18 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and the change of temperature is uh, final is 100, initial is 0 okay, so we can find the final volume of the mercury where we have 18 cm cube okay, so if we substitute into the equation 15.5 equals to the final volume of the mercury is 18 okay minus final volume of the container so therefore we know that actually our V final for the glass flask is equal to 18 minus 15.5 or the answer is equal to 2.5 cm cube okay so we can use this equation V final of the glass flask equals to V naught 1 plus gamma change of the temperature Okay, so the final volume of the glass is 2.5 Initial volume of course is 1000 And times 1 plus gamma is the volume that we want is the value that we want to find the coefficients of the expansion And the change of temperature of course is final is 100 minus initial is 0 Okay, so if we press calculator the coefficients of the volume expansion of this glass is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 per Kelvin. Okay, so this is the answer for questions number 2. Okay, next we go to questions number 3. Okay, questions number 3. A 7 litre steel gas tank of the car is full to the top of the gasoline, 20 degrees Celsius. The car sits in the sun and the tank reaches the temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, how many gasoline to you expect to overflow from the tank okay so meaning that we must find volume for both okay the first one is the volume for the tank or the container equals to v naught 1 plus gamma times change of the temperature where initially is 70 liter okay so later that unit is in liter times 1 plus gamma okay gamma of the tank is given alpha only okay so we know that our beta is equal to 3 alpha okay so we must times 3 times 12 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and the change of temperature is final times uh, minus initial so final is 40 initial is 20 okay so we will get the volume the final volume of the tank where is equals to 70.0504 Okay, next we want to find V for the liquid or the gasoline. So similar V naught 1 plus beta gamma change of the temperature where the original volume similar is 70 liter 1 plus 
gamma of the Vaseline where it's equal to 9 point, uh, 950 times 10 to the power of 6 and the change of temperature is 40 minus 20, final minus initial. So finally, the final volume for the Vaseline is 71.33 litre. Okay, so we want to find how much Vaseline okay, is uh, overflow or spills up. So we need to find the difference between the volume of the gasoline minus the volume of the tank okay where volume for the gasoline is 71.33 and the volume for the tank is 70.0504 okay so therefore the volume that will spill up is equal to 1.1.2796 1 liter okay so the answer here actually is wrong huh? it's 1.2796 liter the answer is wrong okay Okay, next we go to the last questions, question number 4. A hollow aluminium cylinder has an internal capacity of 2000 cm cube. It is completely filled with the turpentine at the 20 degrees Celsius. The turpentine and the aluminium cylinder are then slowly warmed until 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the aluminium is actually the container and the turpentine actually is the liquid. Okay, so now they want to ask how much turpentine is overflow. Okay, so similar, we want to find the volume for the liquid or the turpentine first. So it's equal to V initial 1 plus gamma times change of the temperature. So the original volume is 2000. 1 plus gamma of the turpentine is equal to 9 times 10 to the power negative 4 and the change of temperature is 80 minus 20 so we take final minus initial so the volume of the liquid or the turpentine is equal to 2108 cm cube okay so next we want to find the volume of the tank or the cylinder okay or the aluminium aluminium cylinder okay so it's v naught 1 plus gamma times change of the temperature where the original volume is 2000 times 1 plus gamma of the aluminium here they only give you alpha okay so similar when they give you alpha we must times 3 yeah? 3 times the alpha 24 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and the change of temperature is 80 minus 20 okay so the final volume of the aluminium we will get 2008.64 cm cube. Okay, so we want to find how much the painting is overflow. So we must find the changes where we take volume for the liquid or the turpentine minus the volume of the container or the aluminium, where volume for the turpentine is 2108 minus 2008.64. Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get 99.36 cm cube. Okay, B, what is the volume of the painting remaining in the cylinder at 80 degrees Celsius? Okay, so we want to find when it's at 80 degrees Celsius, what is the volume okay, remaining in the cylinder? Okay, so the answer here. V remaining okay, of the turpentine actually equals to V of the aluminium. Okay, so it depends on how much aluminium is expanded. So therefore the V final of the aluminium just now we already found is 2008.64 cm cube. Okay, so this is the remaining turpentine in the container. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Okay, please watch on the next video. We will continue with the new chapter, chapter 13, gas laws and also kinetic theory. Okay, see you. Bye.